Hi, I'm Millen. Have you ever been asked to calculate age and create a slicer for age group? If you haven't, it's probably a matter of time, so in this video I'm going to show you how. I'm also going to show you how to avoid having a filter that orders like this and instead sorts correctly like this. So let's get into it. So this is our report. As you can see, we have Two visuals, one showing the number of customers we have by gender, and the second showing the number of customers by the number of children that they have. What we want to do is create a slicer on top, whereby our user can select age group to slice and dice the data. So let's head over to our customer table. What you can see in this table is we have a column called birth date, the date of birth. We don't have customer age, so we can use this to calculate their age. What we want to do is create a new column so that we can calculate the age against each customer. So let's do that. Let's call this column customer age. So the expression that we're going to use is date diff. This calculates the interval between two dates. The date we're going to use is the birth date. And the second date will be today's date. The interval we use will be year. We want to calculate the age in years. So as you can see, that's been created. We now have our customer age against every customer. Now, if we were to simply create a filter that slices on this customer age, this is what you will get. Initially, you will have customer age that looks like this. So you can use this to choose your customer age. However, this isn't necessarily the most intuitive or potentially the best way of doing things. Your report user might want to see an age group, such as under 50, over 65, and so on. So how do we do that? The first thing we need to do is create a new column. So let's go back to our customer data, and we want to add in a new column for age group. So let's go to the top here, click New Column, and let's call this Customer Age Group. For this, I'm going to use an if statement. If our customer age is less than 40, then we will say under 40. If this is false, then we will go to our next condition. For this, we will say if the customer age is between 40 and less than 50, then the customer age is between 40 and 49. So greater than or equal to 40 and less than, oops, and customer age is less than 50. Then we can say 40 to 49. If this is false, then we will go from 50 to 65, and then 65 and older. So that's it, that is our statement that covers all conditions. And now if we have a look at the end of our table, we have customer age group. So as you can see, for customers aged 40, 41 and so on in their 40s, customer age group is 40 to 49. And for 39 here, we have, four, we have under 40. So we can see this is working correctly. Now, you might be thinking, well, if we just create a new slicer, 
with that column then it will work. So let's see what that does. I'm going to remove that and bring in customer age group. So as you can see we have a slicer, it does work but under 40 is at the bottom, it should be here at the top above 40 to 49. So you might be thinking, what can we do about that? Well, if you're new to Power BI, then what you will notice is that when you go back to a column, click on customer age group, you can sort by column. So you might be thinking, okay, let's sort by customer age. So let's see what happens if we do that. We have an error message that says we can't sort by customer age because there is more than one value in customer age for the same value in customer age group. In other words, we want one, two, three, four. So for under 40, we want one, for 40 to 49, we want two, and so on. When you're trying to sort by customer age, you've got multiple numbers for each group. So it doesn't know how to sort it correctly. So here's what we can do. Now, I've seen a lot of developers make this mistake initially, so I'm going to show you the mistake that they made and see if you can catch on. I'm going to create another column that basically says if we have under 40, it's going to be 1, 40 to 49, it will be 2, and so on, and then try and sort on that. I'm going to call this age group sorting. And for this, I'm going to use a switch expression, not an F, but a switch. So what this is saying is switch if true. If this next statement is true, then you output this. So our first statement will be if the customer age group equals under 40, then the output will be 1. And the next will be if customer age group is 40 to 49, then the output will be 2, and so on. So, Let's go back to our table and you can see we have a new column that sorts. So if we have under 40 it equals 1, 40 to 49 equals 2 and so on. So you might be thinking well if we click on customer age group now we only have one number per group. Not the issue that we had before. So let's see what happens when we go to sort by column and sort by age group sort. Now we have a new error. A circular dependency was detected. Dim customer age group to age group sort and back to age group. In other words, this age group sort column is built from the age group column and the age group column is trying to sort on the age group sort column. So how do we go around this? What can we do? Well, one of the things that we can do is to create a new table. So I'm going to go back to my report. I'm going to delete the customer age group sort column because that is no longer needed. And what I'm going to do now is come up here to enter data. I'm going to call my first column age group and my second sort order age group will be under 40, 40 to 49. So these are the existing groups that we have.
sort order one, two, three, four. Let's call the table age sort and click on load. The key difference here is that one column isn't based off another. This is raw data that we're entering in. Now if we go to our data model, you will see we have a new table called age sort with our sort order and group. What we can do here is create a relationship from sort order in the age sort table to customer age group in the dim customer table. So let's create a new relationship. Let's go to manage relationships. Click on new. We're going to go from age sort to dim customer. Click on age group and customer age group. And as you can see, there will be a one to many relationship with a single filter direction. So let's click on close. And now you can see Power BI has created this relationship for us. Now let's go back to our report. And I'm going to bring in a new slicer. And in this new slicer, I'm going to bring in our new information. So that will be age group. We still have the issue of the way this sorts. So this is now what we need to do. We can go back to our data, go to our age sort table, click on our age group column and sort by column sort order. And now that's done, as you can see, we don't have an error message. Let's go back and bingo. We now have it ordering correctly under 40 at the top. 65 and over at the bottom and as you can see it orders correctly and over here on the left it orders incorrectly because we don't have that age sort. We can click on an age group and as you can see all of the visuals change to our selection. So thank you for watching, please give the video a thumbs up if you got this far, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more content like this.